What's up guys? If your third brake light is leaking and you don't want it to leak anymore, or you just fixed it, you're not sure if it's gonna leak again, I think I have a way to keep it never leaking again. Check this out. <laughs> Shout out to my boy in Cali, Mr. John O'Malley from Boosted Motorsports. Boosted Motorsports? Sorry, John, you know how we are. We're in Massachusetts, we mumble a lot and uh, keep messing up our words. All right, so I'm gonna take off my third brake light and I'm gonna show you guys the method that my little brain came up with to stop this thing from leaking. And even if it is leaking, you don't gotta replace it. So obviously, these gases leak, water goes in, goes into this trough and goes left or right. And some people have even had water go that way and get on the headliner. I'm gonna plug this light. And this gasket is the thicker gasket. But see how it's saturated with water? That's not good. It's saturated. Eventually as it gets saturated, it's gonna start dripping. So let me take this out and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. All right, if you've ever seen this stuff before, this is zip tape. Zip tape, you can get this at Home Depot. We use this on windows and doors in our jobs. The inspectors love it. This stuff is awesome. It's very sticky. It's almost like a super thin ice and water shield. It sticks to anything. We're gonna put it on the third brake light hole. Now check this out. First step, cut a piece as wide as your opening, from here to here. You're gonna stick it on about a quarter inch onto the paint, make sure you clean it first so it sticks nice. Press it on. I do this with uh, my one hand, but I can't, so I gotta put this on first and I'll show you. You're gonna go in, kinda pitched up just a little bit, then stick it to the back. Cover the hole, push your plug in first, then put this on. Make a slice, pull the wire out, so it looks like this. Next, we're gonna cut little three and a half inch pieces. We're gonna put one on the right and one on the left. All right, I got the right side on. The third brake light goes all the way to here, so you can bring your sticker anywhere in between here and here. You won't see it. Uh, cover the holes, that's fine. Screws will go through the holes and they'll be sealed. Press the bottom down on top of the piece you just put on. And that's sealed. Let's do the left side. All right, the left piece is on, same thing. Put it in on a slight angle in, because this thing, look at it. You gotta have room for these to go in. So a slight angle in, go up a little bit, press it really good. Make sure you press it all too. When you're sticking it on, press it on really good. Cover the hole, go up here. Just make sure it's pressed nice. All right, now I'm gonna do the top piece. And the top piece, make as wide as the hole is in the top of the tapered hole, the top of the tapered. Yeah. This stuff's awesome, awesome. Let's go up about a quarter inch. And once it's on, you go as wide as the tapered end, there to there. Go up about a quarter inch, lift it up, and you're gonna have the plug. So what you're gonna do is make a slice through here for the plug. Slice about two thirds down. And push it in. Get the plug the slice. All right, I made the slice, plugs through. This is all sealed. Even if it pulls over, just press on it. This stuff seals awesome. Press it on. Make sure it's all sealed. And there's absolutely no openings at all. I'm gonna drive it the third brake light, make sure there's no tape showing yeah we're good I'm gonna plug it in put it on 
If you happen to make the hole around the wire a little too big, you can add some silicone. I did just because my hole wasn't big at all, but it doesn't hurt to put some silicone there just to make sure it ain't gonna leak. In any, any other areas you have, if you have a little opening, put some silicone. That's all. All right, poke through the hole, put the screws in. Here you go, leak proof. The gasket will push onto the zip tip we put on and it's gonna seal it nice. All right, there you go, leak proof. Zip tape is, you can pick it up at Home Depot, it's awesome. Uh, we use it around windows, doors, any area uh, before we put on siding on a house or an addition, we use that stuff. Inspectors love it. It's super, super sticky. Now that that hole is totally covered, and always start from the bottom, do your sides and do the top last. That's how you properly flash. If it's stuck all the way around and you're on the flange of the opening, at least a quarter inch, that gasket that's on your third brake light will squish it as well. And it's going to seal it. It almost can't leak. Silicone in holes you got. Silicone around the Y if you have to. Just make sure you leave enough room for the guts of the third brake light to go in. So you're not pushing on the, on the tape. That's actually the first time I've done that. I had the thought going on my head. And I'm like, oh, I got to. I know this can work. And even if your third brake light is leaking. If you do that and put it back on, it ain't going to leak. There's no way. That is highly, highly qualified uh, flashing material. All right, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hope this helps somebody out. Thanks for watching. Later.